Hello and welcome to your 37th SQL Server tutorial. My name is Johnny DeLuca and today I want to talk to you about how to use the select into statement and show you how to do that. The select into statement is the second or other method that you can use to insert data into a SQL Server table. This method actually creates a new table and inserts all rows from the select statement into that newly created table. So all rows from this select statement are going to be inserted into this new table, dbo.department1. As you can see, we don't have that over here. We have dbo.department, but so here we go. I'll give you a second here. Go ahead and copy this in. Uh, and then go ahead and execute that and we can see 19 rows affected query executed selectly <laughs> selectly successfully excuse me and so let's go back up here and let's refresh this all right now it's expand adventure works 2012 expand tables and there you have it dbo dot department one now the new table may have similar characteristics to the table schema that acts as the source. However, column length, both string and numerical may change and the keys, indexes, and constraints will not be created on the new table. Therefore, you should avoid using the select into statement as a permanent table. So, now you know how to use the select into statement. This was kind of a continuation from my last tutorial where I showed you how to insert multiple rows into a table using the insert into statement, how to insert data into an identity column using the insert into statement, and I showed you how to insert a single row into a table using the insert into. So you got insert into and select into. And as I to reiterate, select into actually creates a new table. So, okay, look forward to seeing you in my next tutorial. I'll be covering updating data in tables in that tutorial. Thanks.